Alright guys, it's been a while since I've done a video, so what I decided to do is take all of the uh, videos that I've taken in the past couple weeks or so and just put them into one. That way I'm not just doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, didn't take a whole lot of hunting videos, as you can see. Uh, just here and there when I decided to record. A lot of times I just didn't even record. I just went ahead and went hunting and bought the stuff and figured I'd just do the end but I didn't do the Forest Friday thing I mean I I didn't go out on Forest Friday um, like a midnight thing I did go out I believe the day of like after work and did a little shopping and hunting found a couple things um, then uh, went to Indiana for the weekend for the Labor Day weekend and found um, a few things back in Indiana which mostly were these ships I did uh, I did find all these type of ships and stuff I opened up a couple I've, I've been meaning to open up the rest of them just at the time I was in Indiana I just wanted to open up a couple see what they were like and uh, get kind of a feel of what they were I'm kind of impressed with them so far yeah these are just the Hot Wheels they're not the Titanium series and I don't even know if they're going to keep going with that titanium series. So instead of just waiting on those, I went ahead and just got the Hot Wheels. Mostly the new vehicles. I didn't touch any of the vehicles I already have. And since these are all new uh, with the uh, Last Jedi, then uh, that's why I got these. I like, I really like the Kylo Ren ship here. This is um, pretty bad. Pretty badass. This is pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. And I can't wait possibly play this in Battlefront 2 which comes out in November uh, beta in October uh, a couple more days of beta if you pre-owned that if you are a gamer who likes to play the Battlefront series check out uh, the news about the October I think it's the 4th um, to the 9th release for the beta that you can play Battlefront 2 a few a uh, few of the things and then at least try it out uh, if you haven't, uh, it's, the fourth is for the people who pre-bought the game. And if you didn't pre-buy the game, then it starts for the, on the 6th for you, which is a Friday. So I'm hoping to pre-purchase it before uh, that time in October so I can play a couple days extra. So I got those and uh, in, in Indiana. And I've got this pop. Because it seems like everybody's been looking for this pop. And so I bought it. I'm not a pop collector, but I did get it for a possible uh, trade, um, future trades or something. So if somebody collects pops and they have something I want, then I have this to offer them. So, but it's kind of cute. I like it. So if I don't end up trading it, hey, no sweat. I like it. So, um, today I went out and we got... Uh, we went to a few places after running some errands today. Took a half a day off of work. It's Friday, the um, 8th September. And picked up uh, some of this stuff. So, oh, of course, in, in Indiana, I did get some of the figures. I got Darth Vader there, which I opened because I got like four of him. I think I got, uh, oh, actually, I got two. Uh, no, actually, three. Because I got the 40th anniversary version uh, on the card, and then I got the two. Um, well, I got the. Hang on, let me think about it. I got the two with the uh, the uh, early bird thing, and then um, he came in that package. So I went ahead and opened it since I had those two. Um, that's what it is. So, yeah, and I had the other one already open too, which this one everybody says this one's better. Uh, it's it's okay. I like it. I don't like the cape how it goes in the back, it just kind of hangs there type of. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the, the cape, and the helmet doesn't come off, which I thought was a nice little extra for the the first version. But I like the the cloth and the front going down the chest and stuff. Kind of like that. But today I uh, went on a short hunt to a few places, and I picked up all these little dudes. I got uh, Blade, been looking for him, you know, a lot of people have been looking for him, finally saw him, picked him up at Toys R Us, um, 
The Kylo I picked up in Indiana when I got Vader, and the Stormtrooper up here I got in Indiana. That the uh, Ray picked up today with Blade, and uh, Old Man Luke, Jedi Master. Uh, this looks different than what everybody else has been showing. I don't know if it's just me. It just looks different on the videos and doesn't real person. I don't know. I'm still debating on if I'm going to open him or just keep him that way. And We'll see. But I'll probably buy a couple or at least one more of each of these. That way I'll open one and keep one in the box. I uh, usually keep them all in the box and it takes me a while to open one if I have an extra. Sometimes I even don't even open them when I do. But the uh, Syndicate family, since being a part of them, they've uh, kind of corrupted me in opening my figures. And that's why I did the Darth Vader thing. Usually I would have kept him in there, but like I said, I have, have him in what really counts for me in the uh, 40th anniversary card. So I wasn't too upset for opening him. Um, got these guys. Uh, they Toys R Us had a special. I just posted on the Syndicate about this. Uh, they had a buy one, get one free. Uh, the Black Series 6 inch. And I kind of found these guys together in a, a cart. It was by the uh, cash registers. It was like a bunch of different types of toys just piling into it. So I think it, it looked like they were going to use it to restock the shells and stuff that came back or whatever. So I grabbed these guys while they were in there when I saw them. So hopefully it wasn't somebody else's cart. The, the way it looked, it, if you saw it, you would have known. It, it didn't look like somebody else's cart. It was just sitting there by itself with a bunch of crap sitting in there. But my daughter saw, hey, look, these are pretty high numbers. And it came out to be these snow troopers. And I love, love these snow trooper figures. I am a big fan of the snow troopers, so I couldn't resist buying one and getting one free. So now I can, uh, I have three or four now. So I can actually troop build on these guys. And that's why I got both of those. So, and then, of course, in the back here, as you see, um, or actually go back here, I got Ray too. Both uh, Luke and Ray were at Target. The only two that I didn't have that they had. Um, so I couldn't resist, couldn't leave them sitting there by themselves. So I picked those guys up. And then I had a 15% off coupon at Toys R Us, which was the main reason I went there today. And I picked up the Landspeeder. I have been wanting this ever since I first saw pictures of it a few months ago. I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to open this thing up. Definitely going to open this up. I am so excited to start putting this thing together and play with it and checking it out. I'm really excited. That's why I'm doing this video now so I can actually get in there and open him up and start posing stuff in there and play with him a little bit. But uh, really excited about that one. And while we were in Indiana, we went to a little flea market and a lot of people who are in the syndicate have seen uh, one thing I did buy, and it was a coffin. Well, kind of morbid, but you can open it up, and it's like big enough for six-inch figures. So you can put your figures in there, pose them, and uh, have like a little funeral for for people like Dark Vader here. You know, there you go, rest in peace, Vader, and then bury him in your yard. Now, it came with a shovel, a tombstone, and an urn also in the package, but they had a uh, black one and a silver one. I wanted to get the black one, but when I made myself, when I made it back around to go decide to get it, the black one was already gone, so I went ahead and got the silver, and I'm kind of glad I did, because it's more of a, uh, a true, what you would see in an actual coffin. I don't think you see too many black coffins, most of them are like brown or silver or something, so kind of happy with that that's well, that was pretty cool but yeah that's my haul for the past couple weeks since Force Friday uh, really glad I got a lot of this stuff really happy with it just needed to figure out what I'm going to open and what I'm going to keep I think I'm going to open the trooper too uh, when we were at Target they had like four or five troopers tons of Darth Vaders but they had uh, a few of the, the stormtroopers so I think those are, those are going to be plentiful, and if I need to get one and just keep it in the box, I can, but I'd like to troop build on these guys too, and of course I have the original uh, black box Stormtrooper in like the first wave that they came out in, so I think I'm happy with that. 
just keeping that one in the box and opening these new ones. But again, Luke, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to open him or not. I'm probably just going to keep him in the box for now until I see what's going to happen with him. Uh, Kylo, same thing. Don't really need to open him. I got extras of the first wave from last year or a couple years ago. So pretty happy with that. Ray, again, I don't know. Wouldn't be too bad to open, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. And it was also pointed out in another video I saw that she's supposed to have in one of her versions of her, I think the one with the base, um, she comes with like the, the base that you can stand her on, that she had like a bruise on her eye. I'm not seeing the bruise on this eye, but the, now I'm looking at it, the eyes are not looking very good. They're looking kind of funky. So his eyes are fine. They look good, but hers, kind of weird looking. Luke's, I didn't not too bad not too bad of a face paint so pretty good so i'm gonna open these guys up the ones i figure i'm gonna open uh, definitely gonna open up blade i don't usually keep my legends in the package i usually open those guys up but the star wars ones most of them are gonna stay in the package i think all right thanks for watching please subscribe and hopefully we'll see you